in Devon, pampered mum, Karen Orchard, lives with her new husband, Jason, and her two kids from her previous marriage, Josh and Charlie. They all live in the same house with her mum, Sarah, and stepdad, Len. In Middlesex, traditional housewife Andrea Sinclair lives with her husband, London Cabbie Collins, and their 17-year-old son, Jamie. The two women have agreed to swap husbands, homes and children for two weeks to find out what they can learn about themselves and each other. Bye. Bye. What's it like for a man who's used to having everything done for him to live with a wife that can't even cook? And I'm sorry. My family that respect each other and love each other and never speak to each other like that. How will a traditional housewife cope living a pound with life? So you go now and sit down and... Oh my God, I'm not used to this. Into you. Okay. Right, okay. I'm finding it hard. I am finding it extremely hard because I don't want this young man to do things for me. And how will the couples react when they come face to face to discuss the experience? You're gonna hit me. And that's on oh, Phil. That's on Phil. He wants to fight. That's on Phil. I didn't say I was gonna fight, did I? I just been threatened. What do you expect? Demanding, demanding. I never stop. Even yeah, listen, you could thank me for your, your lovely figure. Andrea and Colin Sinclair have been married for 20 years and have a very traditional relationship. People come in any time of the day and I've always got a clean house, which is so important to me. And I don't want to be portrayed as a male chauvinist person, but I just think the man has to work, the woman stays at home and looks after the children, and um, that's how I like it. And to make sure things are done the way he likes it, Colin constantly calls to check up on her. There you are, I brought you over a drink. Oh, lovely. I am so thirsty. Take that. Anything else to bring in? Yeah, take that. The window cleaner. Thank you. Yeah, goodbye, my lovely. Yes. Thank you. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> I just cut my back. Oh, look at this. Hey, Dee. Yeah? Colin is the most demanding person, uh, but Jamie is following his footsteps. Mum? Yeah? Let's have a drink. I do nothing around the house at all. All I do is change the channel on the TV. In Devon, Karen Orchard has no problems getting her partner to help out. What Thank you. My philosophy is why do a job if someone else can do it better? I think you have to look after your wife if you're married to her. Jason does most of it, like the hoovering, the washing, um, washing the dishes. She'd never make a cup of tea, she can't make one anyway. Whilst Jason looks after the chores, childcare for her kids, Josh and Charlie, is mainly done by her mum and stepdad who also live with them. They're the regard after them. Second mum and dad. Second mum and dad, I think, rather than granny and grandpa. I wouldn't have them living anywhere else because they do more for me than my mum. I think the woman probably will look at my the wives are leaving home for two weeks and they've agreed to have no contact during this time. I haven't been apart from my family before and making me feel sick and scared. Don't go. <laughs> so yeah, enjoy. Yeah. See you soon. Good you. Love you dog. Be good. Love you, love you. Take care. I'm gonna miss good. you both. Yeah. Bye. 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 You're gonna look after me? Yeah. Uh, don't know how I'm gonna cope. God, you've got to be a saint to put up with somebody like me. I actually feel sorry for the person that's coming. The worst thing is actually saying goodbye. That God. Take me back home. Before they meet the families, Karen and Andrea have a chance to explore their new home. Big TV and, and DVD, so they must like watching telly. This is horrible, horrible. It smells. I come from a nice house and I'm walking into this. It's awful, absolutely awful. I want to go back home. I'm not going to be happy here. What's Ruth? She probably does everything, I think. Andrea may have only just arrived. 
but being away from her family for the first time is proving harder than she thought. Oh, I feel I want to go back home. I must be a bloody muck put up with this. I can't stay here. It, to me, it's just a cold feeling. When you walk into my house, you're so happy. Silly girl crying. But it's so happy in my house, and I just feel it's horrible here. No, I'm not going through it. One minute. And <laughs> an apron. So they like to cook, possibly. Sugar. I think the wife spends most of the time in the kitchen and I've got an awful, awful, horrible feeling that she's going to know how to use a dishwasher, know how to do the washing machine, have to feed the dog, clean the house and cook. Having calmed down, a homesick Andrea agrees to stay and see how it goes. As well as my husband to look after me, my mum, stepdads live with me and help me. They do all the housework and cook all my meals. This is in the home to do all the cooking cleaning and tidying. My nickname in the house is Skivvy. No matter what time of the day at night it is, I meet my husband and son's needs and will cook them a meal whenever they're hungry. What about them? What do they do? My mum Sarah, 48, and stepdad less live with us, but the kids get confused as who is the mum and who is the gran. Oh, you stupid woman. This is a very confused family. It's a very mixed up family and I am not used to this. Being a mother is my whole world. I would do anything for my son. She's been for all of this. And for what? Him to treat him like a slave. Hello, Hello, all right. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, nice to meet you Jamie. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm Karen. Yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you, Karen. Hello, darling. Yep. All right. Yeah, you. Hi. Hi, yeah. How are you? Right. My name's right. Jason. Mm -hmm. I'm Andrea. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. I'm Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Mm -hmm. Hi, how are you? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you like for your dinner? Roast chicken's fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. One question for you. Do either of you know how to work the oven? No. Um, I haven't got a clue. I okay. Yeah. Can I have my fizzy drink, though? It's in oh, the, it's here. This one here? Yeah. Let me do it. Thanks a lot. All right. Me. Appreciate that. That's no worries. This is the first time I've been away from home. That's why I've got black eyes here. I was crying my eyes out. I've been so tearful today, very, very emotional. What are you eating today? I had a roll, but I haven't had any supper or anything. Do you want some supper? Don't worry about it. Where you do everything, I do the housework, the cleaning. I do everything, everything at home. Would you like a cup of tea? I would love a cup of tea. No I really would. No sugars. We've got a lot in common, I think. Uh, she does the same sort of stuff as me. Making cups of teas, cleaning up. Thanks, Jason. Lovely, thank you. I just wanted to see what it's like, you know, without her doing dinners and teas and stuff like that. Because hopefully she get a nice experience out of it. Oh my God! It's not such a warm reception in the Sinclair house, where Colin and Jamie have been waiting three hours for... I didn't think women couldn't cook. I've never in my life met a woman that can't cook. And it's rock hard. What's that? I don't think this is the best way to carve a chicken myself, but hey. That. And if someone had said to me you would have been able to cook a roast yeah. that's edible, I would never have ever believed them. Mm. I'll, go, I'll be honest with Karen, I'm a little bit upset. I can see full plates everywhere. Yeah. And, uh, do you mind? No, I can do it. Yeah. You can sit down. Right. All right. Put yeah, your feet no. up. <laughs> you can sit down. All right. All right. Thanks, no worries. I'm going to go find it. You're going to have a cigarette. You've had a busy day. 
Although it's nearly midnight, there's Did no let up away. with Karen's chores. Karen? Yeah? Ten past eleven, lovey. Where's my coffee? You know, you could do it yourself. It makes me feel like a lack of slave. It makes me feel like, you know, beck and call and, and things like that. It makes me feel like not very valued. No, I'm not too happy, to be honest. I don't think this is going to last. I really don't think this is going to last. Jamie is also unhappy, as Karen's first roast makes... I'm not very good at all. Oh, I just feel really sad. I'm just going to go to sleep. Bad diarrhea again. In London, non-domestic mum Karen Orchard is waking up to the aftermath of her first attempt at a roast. Jamie had diarrhoea last night. What are you supposed to do with a chicken? Just wash it first. Yeah. And then... Did you know that, though? Did you know you meant to clean the chicken? Well, I've got to be honest, I take that as common knowledge and well, common yeah. sense. You know, it's common sense. Common it sense is. for a lady who knows how to cook, but bearing in mind what I've said to you, and, you know, if you knew this, what yeah. would have stopped you getting up off the yeah. TV, coming out, yeah. and showing me? All right, you know, it's only day one, you know, with us at the yeah. moment. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, I'm just going to put this in the dishwasher. No, don't worry, I'm just going to go and All clean right. my teeth and... Uh, yeah, get... you carry on. I felt really proud of what I did the last night, but he's tried to belittle what I done, what I have done, by saying that it's made us sound poorly, and um, it's made me feel a bit, you know, pants. You can definitely tell my wife's not here. Definitely, definitely tell that she's not here at the moment. When I come down, everything's put away and it's all tidy. I mean, this will never be out. She cleans everything. Andrew is dropping. She's so tired, but she still puts everything away. Everything. In Devon, at the Orchard House, whilst the grandparents look after the children, the traditional housewife Andrea Sinclair is having to take it easy. Would you like some breakfast? Oh, uh, sliced toast. Sliced toast? Yeah, that'd be lovely. Would you like anything on it? Just a little bit of butter and that's fine. Just a light spread, yeah? Yeah, that's perfect. Thank okay. You. Is there anything I can do? No, 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 no. You go in there and sit down and... Oh, my God, I'm not used and to bring... Jason going out to work. I should be at home cleaning, <laughs> cooking, tidying up, looking after those children. There we are. Lovely, All thank right. you. And you can have any. No, I'm fine, thank you. To me, it doesn't make sense. To actually see a man doing everything, it's not for me. I want to do things. I want to go, 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 go. Like, get all the washing up and dry and tidy Do all up. that, yeah. yeah. That's what I want to do. No, I'm just sort of like burning to go. <laughs> yeah, I normally see, I normally do the hoover once a week or something. It's my, I know it sounds awful, but I feel like, I, you know, it's a woman. Do you think that Karen's actually been spoiled by her mum? Karen's I think what it is is because because she's had it used to doing to her, you know, people doing and running around for her, it not doing her lazy. cooking and stuff. Mm. It makes you lazy. But because she goes out and earns all the money, then... But she doesn't do a full day. No. It just seems that, you know, I feel that the woman role should be doing... But they're running round. I'm finding it hard. I am finding it extremely hard. Um, I know most people would say it's nice to get away and being waited on, but maybe for a day. But honestly, I'm I'm really. I just want to go home. I'm so homesick. Yeah, it's not you or anything. I think Karen but... will be the same. <laughs> I just I mean... want to go home. I don't want to go through no more. I know it sounds awful, but I'm really homesick. I miss my dog. And I, I miss everything. It's just me, I've never been away from home before. Mm. And I just feel... I bet Karen's feeling exactly the same way. Of course she is. She's, oh. Yeah. You're busy doing things, so you're not actually thinking, oh, what's Karen doing, what's this doing? And I'm doing nothing. I'm so happy to have you, but... Oh. Yeah, if you quit now, I'm going to be so gutted. But, I really oh. think you should stick it out. Oh, you've made me feel a bit better. Oh. We can do whatever you want. Okay. Tonight, yeah? All right, thank you. So you're going to be all right? I think so. Yeah. Go on, I think do I... your stuff. <laughs> Karen 
is also struggling, taking on Andrea's role with all her chores. There's got to be more to life than this, you know. It's just all the time, continual cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. washing out, oh, nice but it's out late, so it'll have to, it'll have to come in yeah, tomorrow, nice I'm done. Right. I finally got it to work. I don't know so. how you use it. No, that's fine. I've done it, and it's right. worked, and it's, it's ready another load in there for tomorrow, Excellent. so Excellent. we'll do that one well tomorrow. Done. To me, that manual did not make it sound like she was a happy lady. She sounded really cheesed off, and she wanted to have someone take care of her for a change. But he really believes she's happy. Colin believes she's happy. Can I be really honest with you about something? Go on. We talked about Dane, you said to me, Andrea's happy with her life. Yeah. She's not happy. No? I've read her manual. Yeah. And when I had read her manual, I cried. Really? I need to get upset, because I can see you're probably a bit in the no, bit. No, no, no. OK, in that manual, I didn't hear... I didn't read a happy lady. That's your perception on. Uh, no, there's some things in there that she's wrote and like yeah. what she'd like. The word Skivvy came up. You give her that as a nickname, you call her Skivvy. And she said that she'd like to be pampered once in a while. Yeah. She wants to be swept off her feet. Um, yeah, I, I mean, you, I'm upset, obviously, what you said, that um, she'd like to be swept off her feet. She, that's what she wants, to be swept off her feet. Yeah. As the evening wears on, Karen's comments about the manual begin to sink in. It hurts. It hurts. But what you said is not, not nice. I can't talk to her about but it. But you know what you can do about it. Promise your baby girl, I would never have done that to you. This is, this is all about Karen. I'm no psychologist, but this is all about Karen. Karen is reflecting her life on her, me. Me and Charlie always pick flowers for Karen, and because the new wash doesn't have flowers given to her, so we're going to do that to cheer her day up. Thank you. That's all right. Me and Charlie picked them. Oh, Charlie, come here. Oh, very gorgeous. Oh, thank you. I'm going to go to get a drink of tea. Mean? I would love a cup of tea. Yeah, I'll go and make a cup of tea. I'm going to make a cup of tea in a minute. You just relax up here. Just... I know, I feel so laid back, so relaxed. Mm. But a cup of tea would be lovely. I can't believe what I've just said. I would love a cup of tea. Can't believe it at all. Thanks, Jason. All right. Thank you. Oh, the way I like it, nice and strong. No problem. Thank you. This is unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to make her realise that there's more to life than flipping cleaning up, you know? Having settled into Karen's role, Andrea turns her attention to the orchard's parenting. Jason's got it there, and he's, you know, he's a very loving, caring person. He, he would be a perfect father and a perfect husband, but they're not actually giving him the chance. Andrew's got loads. He is a friend, really. He, he is a stepdad. But he's not the best parent to me and Charlie. He's just he's a friend. A friend. Yeah, I wouldn't mind being a, more of a father to them, but the trouble is they look at me as a stepdad. Mm, really Les and Sarah's brought them up, so I just leave it to them, you know, to discipline them. It's not fair on the children. I think the children should actually get to know who their mother is. Why should Karen's mother spend quality time with the children? It should be Karen. <laughs> Can I have a talk to you both? <laughs> You're actually taking the role of being the, um, Joshua and Charlie's parents, which really upsets me. It really does. I'll be honest with you, I, I do it because I actually love it. I know you enjoy it, but then do you find the children are sort of looking at you as a mum and dad? No. No. 
I think the children are gaining by the fact that Sarah and I are here. But they give more to me than I can ever give to them. They give me, oh, I don't know, emotional contentment. In the Sinclair house, Colin is due back from work and he expects his wife to have refreshments ready and waiting for him the instant he returns. Hello? Oh, hi, Dad. Hi, Karen. Yeah? Dad's just said, can you have a lemon tea? And yeah. A and I think I've got digestive, I think. think. she's got digestives. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, a couple of those? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Also, have you got any strawberries? Yeah. Will you bring the cream soda out to him? Yeah. And let him eat the strawberry in two minutes? All right. Can All you right. keep an eye out for him and let me know? Or? All right, bye. Yeah, I'll yeah. It, it, phone you to tell you when to come out. Okay. All right, bye. Bye, Dad. It's not a life, it's existing. It's not a life. You couldn't call this a life. It's just a routine that someone's got stuck into. But. Maybe she's scared to say anything to him because she doesn't like him when he erupts. Hello? Hi. Yeah, can you bring a Creo soda now he's home? Yeah. Thanks, Molly. All right. Great, I really appreciate that. No, it's fine. I've done the lemon tea. It's ready. Bloody hell, Karen. I know. I can't put it away until I can get the ironing board back. So you don't think the ironing board should have been put in? I mean, it's... No, 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 no. I, I don't know, because she does the ironing in the evenings, Andrea. It should have been done, you know. Yeah, but... You've got to respect my house at the end of the day, Karen. This is what it's all about. But if you live like this, I feel very, very sorry for your children. Oh, look, I'll put the ironing board away. Yeah, it's fine. But at least, like, you know, I like to see my house a little bit tidy as well. Sorry, Karen. So you're going to leave this like this all night? You know what, Karen, I'll be honest with you. I think you're looking in the mirror when you're talking about me. I actually think it's you that you're talking about. Because believe me, my wife's happiness, you know, that's Andrea. That's Andrea's happiness. If she could see this, Karen, she would have a fit. <laughs> I've got enough of his anger up. And I felt scared, and I felt scared. It shouted at the stairs to me. It's speaking to me like a piece of Let's talk, two adults having a conversation on how my wife keeps a tidy home. You might live in a pigsty and it's how you might like it, but not here, Karen, I'm sorry. We respect our homes here. I want to go home with my family that respect each other and love each other and never speak to each other like that. Ask her to come down and I swear to her I won't be rude to I her. I won't be rude. I think does calm down and then he apologises for being rude, so... The damage is done though, isn't it? Yeah. I don't want to speak to him. OK. Mm. So I'm not... Oh, uh, yeah. I sort of understand, because you're not used to it as well, so... <laughs> you're not used to the rudeness, the demandingness, and everything like that. It's all changed. Both wives are keen to make their mark, and after last night's row, Karen is in a defiant mood. And I want to make it feel more female orientated in here, and at the moment you just get a big TV, dark colours, because they're like nice bright colours, to kind of bring a bit of brightness back. Colin and Jamie in the kitchen. And the day I got here, I was thinking now, what am I going to do, and I was watching things and seeing things and I thought I'm going to change so much. I've come to the wrong house. Oh. It's definitely yeah. your house. Yeah. Right? Yeah. My raw changes are going to give you, both of you, the chance to experience what it's really like being your wife. OK, Colin? Yeah. And your mother, Jamie. I know you've got a lot of care for each other. Um, but I think there will be a few changes. I will be doing the cooking, the housework, cleaning. You can see what a wife should be doing. All rules I'd like you to do with a smile. I want you to cater for my every need now. Right. You will do all the cooking in the house. What? Everything. Are you serious? I'm very serious. Jason. 
I have got you a job. Yes. What have you got me there? You're going to work four days on a building site. Oh, wicked. You're going to look so funky with it on. <laughs> also, just so I don't leave you out, Jamie. Oh, you don't have I to. I wouldn't want to. So, Jamie, I have some rubber gloves that you must wear at all times in the now. kitchen. I have given you a cleaning schedule and things that I'd like you to do daily. If it's done properly, mm. yeah. I'll let you have some TV time. For how long? I'm not sure yet. It'll depend how good you are, okay. all right? Yeah. I understand when I haven't worked, then I should help. But I've been working. I've been working tonight. I've been, you know, I've, I've done a hard day's work. Coming to my lovely lessons, Sarah, you two will be spending a couple of nights away. Would you like it if we split your family up? No, I wouldn't. See? I wouldn't so like it. But that's why I'm here. I've been taken away so from my stuff husband and my so son. Like I want them to understand what it would be like just to have a mum and dad, the four of us as a family. Still only two small children. But you can come and visit. I don't know your life is just totally different to ours. <laughs> and, and they don't know your life, Andrea. It just makes me sad because he's trying to split everybody from for three days. And I'm just not happy about that. But I wouldn't like Granny and Grandpa going away. Not a chance. Take leaving the children, I just wouldn't do it. If we went, they'd be right behind us. And we couldn't leave them knowing they were crying and, and not happy. The working bit is good. I like that, that's brilliant. I'm happy that she's done that for me. But with Granny and Grampy going away, nah. I, I don't, do not agree with that whatsoever. It's just been unfair to Jason and Karen because they're not letting go and you have to let go as much as you love you there. Nanny and Gramps refuse to go, but compromise by agreeing to leave the parenting to Andrea and Jason. She uh, wanted the rules to be that she looked after the children as her children and she must take them as her children. And she's the mum and I'm the granny. Right, so let's see what mum's got here to put in there. Those are supposed to be white. It's got a nice fur. What is it? Black in. Go on, Lewis. In the Sinclair uh, house, the boys are getting to grips with uh, it. But Colin is finding Karen's rules difficult to swap. Oh, Karen? Yeah? Mm. Yeah? Yeah, okay. no problem. If you don't mind me saying, I'll do everything, obviously, I'll do. Yeah. But I think you're doing it to try and upset me. If I work, do you not think this is unfair on me? Don't complain. Do it no, with no, a smile on your face. Complain, but I'm asking, what do you do whilst I do all this? Are you I'm not working, Colin. I, I'm here. Okay, I want enough. you to do Andrea's role, and okay. that's what I've asked you to do. Not complain. Take well, it on the chin and smile whilst you're well, doing it. One day, Karen, you're living in the real world, where men work for their Colin, partners. the word complain keeps springing to mind. No, no, I'm not complaining. Yes, you are. You're not doing it with a smile on your face. Oh, I promise you I'll do it, but it won't be with a smile on your so face. Oh, lovely, thank you. There we are. Oh, it looks right, lovely. Darling. I'm just going to get the... Do you want some answers? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I must say, it's good at cooking. Do you think it's nice, lovely, the four of us all together by a table? Mm. Angela is quite nice. It's different mums. Mm. Me and mum don't usually do so much things. I've got a big reason. And she's a bear cook for mum. Can you see yes. how to Nice meal. <laughs> Please you approve. But you don't Please mind going out doing dishes and stuff no. like that? No! I've got my little helper, come on in. Feel like a dad. I think it is a good idea to you know, spend quality time as your own little family, which I do agree with that. Having obeyed the rules and cooked dinner, Jamie is hoping to be rewarded with some time in front of the TV. Watch it, Jamie. You can't watch telly tonight. So no complaining or rules to be done with a smile. Been You've done it with a smile that's and you've not complained and I think that's fantastic. But unfortunately your dad hasn't done that. He's complained and hasn't done it with a smile. Oh, so I'm sorry, Jamie. I, I know, I'm sorry. What about me, like? I'm no, I can't. Because I want to he, I want your dad to be the role model. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, 
that you break a rule by yeah. arguing, and okay. I get affected by it. I get punished as well as Jamie. Jamie. Karen is a big baby. I'll tell you something, Wait, Jamie. Yeah. Have you ever met a woman like Karen? Run, a f no. Run as far as you can. Some changes from the rule change I didn't like, but um, I think what Karen's tried to do is bring our family together more, and also. I felt like what it's like to be my mum in my mum's shoes and to do all the cleaning and not having time to watch TV. And I found that very difficult. Today, Jason is going to be the breadwinner, while Andrea stays at home with Charlie. Eight, nine, ten, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, that's good. I love to have had a girl. Whee! Ooh. And for someone that has a daughter and doesn't share this motherly look on things, it's, it's just awful. I don't know if it's down there. Do you want me to have a look, see if I can see it? And under Karen's rules, Colin and Jamie are going on a cookery course. So there's no excuse for not cooking. We're going to learn how to stretch it and back again. Just push away and then roll it back. Oops! <laughs> right. That's good. Well, I hope I can see it. Look at that. Absolutely mm. brilliant. It's lovely. Karen would think really. Really have enjoyed this because I'm actually having good fun. It's really I'm good. Really am having good fun. I'll tell you something. I'm looking forward to making one for Andrew. I can't believe I've just made this. It looks so nice and professionally done and professionally tasty. Save me money buying you a pizza. Wow, you didn't cook that. Yeah. You did. Right. Yeah. Done it off and I've decided I want to be a chef now. That like, full find a part time job in a restaurant. You're joking. No, I'm not joking. I'm so glad that Andrea got me a job because it's made me feel oh, like yeah. I'm actually doing something with my life and not sitting at home all the time. And then we're enjoying quality time with six-year-old Charlie. But that's about to change as Grandma Sarah returns from work. Something else. What about if I help you? Mm, I think I'll go and try for a little while. Are you? You've had enough? All right, then. Mm. I'm going to stay and do some skipping around here. Before the grandmother came in, the little girl was with me. And we were playing lovely skipping and Charlie didn't really notice her until the grandma sort of made her safe known by coming out and then Charlie ran over and the grandma's taken over so it's a bit awkward at the moment because I feel I've done everything. Supposed to be in charge but as it's getting late Grandma Sarah steps in to get the kids ready okay. for bed. Read ten minutes and Grandpa will be able to turn your light off. Be okay. Back. Okay. Okay. Night night. night. Ten minutes. Okay. Okay. But then I feel this is what I, I find difficult if it's because you can sort of say to me why you keep stepping back. I'm absolutely from wicked. tomorrow. I'm I will be starving. It. Yeah, but yes. I went out your way for your rules for you to cook and look after these children. But it ain't all happening, is it? From so tomorrow. I need to know your rules so I know what. what yeah, I no, I, I want to sort of take full so control. Tell me your rules so I know what and I'm take control. And if Charlie goes like with you, I want to say, "Come on, Charlie, let's go and do something." Away. That's fine. Do you want to drink tea, coffee? Oh my soft drink, coffee, coffee would be coffee. lovely. Your coffee's fantastic. Right. So. Yeah. While Jamie is getting stuck into Karen's rules. Colin opts to put his feet up. His dad should be setting an example. I keep going back to my family, but I think that, say there was like Josh and my stepdad at home, that Les would set an example to Josh. And they're roughly the same age and he's not doing it. And it really upsets me because Jamie's trying so hard. And it's just, it's wrong. It's really, really wrong. Jamie. 
you're not being Andrea. The whole reason of being doing this is by being Andrea. You're not doing that. You're not experiencing her life because she doesn't sit on her backside and read a magazine. You're a bath ready. Oh, you're star. You're going to come with me and check that yeah. it's cool? All right. I just think you should be doing that and not leaving it all to Jamie today. Come on. Have a look. Can you show me how fab your bath is? I am very upset and I'd rather say, come here, don't mind that lazy asshole's bath. I would say that to him, but I can't. He's got to make his own decision and he's got to... I, I've got to respect Jamie. Jamie having a wife like Karen. I'm getting on there so well. I am very, very pleased. Mm. Really pleased. Jamie, it's, shame it, you won't it's reciprocated because I think the world of you. I think, you know. I just wish you both would talk to each other and just get along with each other. That's what I would like. Oh, never happen. You ready, young man? Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, Karen listens to me a lot, which I don't get much of. So I enjoy her listening to me because she actually takes it in. He feels close to me. He feels like he's got a real bond with me. And if I can get a bond with a 17-year-old lad after two, nearly two weeks, then God knows what my bond's going to be like with my children when I get home. You know, I found my maternal instincts that I never thought possible that I thought I'd have. I love my children, but I've never had a... Oops. Hello. Hi, Hi how was your day? Good, look at the state of you. I oh, know, I've been, been doing working. some rendering and plastering. And how was it? Brilliant, yeah, already Yeah, you enjoyed, enjoyed it? it? Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. But you're hungry? Yeah, I'm starving. Are you? Brilliant. Tonight I've come from work <laughs> and I've achieved something. I'm like, well, I'm the breadwinner, so I'm actually sitting here now. That food on your table is what I've earned, so, you know, eat it sort of yeah. thing. Oh, yeah, it's good for Jason to work because he needs to earn money. Because if he doesn't earn money, he won't be able to get anything like sweets for him as well, Josh. You're going to bed at 10 o'clock. With Jason, he's just suddenly matured. In a matter of days, he's just matured and he's not acting like a boy, he's acting like a man. Seeing him telling the children what to do, I looked at him and I thought, good luck to you. I've done all my chores and I've done every... Yeah. I just think, I have gone, it's not fair. I mean, you promised you'd be able to break breaking it. Karen's oh, rules. Yeah, so Jamie yeah, has lost his TV privilege. But Colin has a cunning plan. Yeah. I'll take you to Auntie Sue's if you want. Is that OK? What, you went out to Auntie Sue? Yeah, just watch TV. Probably Karen won't let me. She won't let me, would she? No. They just say, freedom at last. Here we go. We're watching TV in two days. Huh? Watching TV. Jamie? Yeah? Where are you going? I'm going. It's a different day to my auntie. You're not going to watch TV? No, I'm just, I just go there. My cousin's there. She's got a Nintendo Wii. Console and hold. Uh, just be an hour. And Robbie's dead home. Jamie, don't listen to her. Please don't listen to her. Vicky, do you want to go? I, well, Karen. Yeah. Do you want to go, I said? I do want to go. Would, you, would you like to go? I would like to go. Goodbye. No, I think, but I'm not, you know. Mm. Look, oh. Karen. You've made a decision for him to go, so I'm not going to... No, no, I've let Jamie decide. Yeah, that's what I just said. You... I've let Jamie decide. Yeah. I knew I'd win. I knew my family. I... I'm going to be a Yes! <laughs> well, <I'm... laughs> it's the final day of the swap, and both wives are preparing to leave. Planted. I'm going to leave it on a positive note. Nice to have met you. Yes, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's been a pleasure okay. having you. Mm -hmm. All right. Take care. Well, Andrea's taught me something that we need to spend more time as a family. Yeah. Thank you. So I'm glad to see you so much. I love you so I can't do it. You know. Never again. Never again. It's not as much as we're just too comfy. Right. 
the only way that you two can really make a life ever, 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 ever. I like, know, I know how close they're like Absolutely, that. They no like way. That. Now I'm going to take on the role of mum and I want Jason to help me with the role of dad, okay? And we'll go home and we'll do that. They can be the grandparents, exactly. still living in the house. But they should I'll be, be the mum and dad. So in my observations of being in your house and stuff, when I first got there and um, I read the manual and stuff, I cried. Why? And I, because I felt really like you were an unhappy lady from what I read. <laughs> no, no, you've got to understand, all right, black and white, yeah. this is what I felt, all right? I can't okay? This. I love cleaning. See, I find. I say I'm like a skinny. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's I'm like. like the nickname is Skivvy. That's what it's, no. it does say. It does it's say. Like, you know, it does say the nickname Skivvy, and I was like, but that's your husband, that's your son. No, how but can I, that feel? I call myself a Skivvy. I, I say I'm like a Skivvy. I feel. Like, but I love doing I know, it. You said to me that you just don't feel special. Sometimes I don't. Because I want Colin to sort of like have more time with yeah, me, but, well, and that makes me feel not so special because I want to spend time with my husband. Are you scared of him? No, not really. No. No, not really. Not really. No, no, not really. Not really. No, no, I'm not not really. Scared of him. Your chance. Right. I wouldn't be worried about saying to him. You know, I want right. to say. Talk, talk, talk. No, I want to say talk, to them. Talk, I would. Talk, I would. Each other. And we're. We're friends. Best friend. Yeah. She does run around me, and it's my fault. And it's my fault because she's too good. This man here. But I won't get into well, this right, you can here, get into it. No, 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 no. He has screamed, he has shouted, he has sworn. Yes. But, I would have knocked him out by now. No, no, excuse me. You're lucky. Not so you're telling me doing what he did to me wasn't abusive. You know, you're lucky it's a camera. You're lucky the cameras are right. You're lucky the cameras are right. Good. Now you've got this on tape. He's just been threatened. What do you expect? I want the police. No, I want you to call can I just say something? That's fine. Okay. Colin, because I'll do it. It's like listening to you. That's and on film, Colin. Oh, well, you're going to hit me. Oh, no, that's on film. That's oh, on well, film. That's on film. film. If he wants to fight, I'm going to That's on film. Well, well, I didn't say I was going to fight. He doesn't scare so women. Um, unfortunately, Colin and Karen did not get on. Yes. Um, yeah, I can understand Colin's point of views. I hear what you're saying. But at the end of the day, He's an excellent father and he's a very good husband. Hello. Mom. <laughs> You look, you look beautiful. Oh. As the Sinclairs return home, the emotional table meeting takes its toll on Andrea. I just... Can you take all this down now? I am fuming! How the f*** the controlling freak! Margaret, don't... It does take everything down! Everything! This is... It's a nightmare! Take it off! Just take it off! The f***! Wait, it's a controller! Uh, in your belt. Just tell me the small one, yeah? No, I think it's quite a big one. I'm doing this. We call Tuesday Andrea's day, don't we? Yeah, it's my day it's on her Tuesday. Day, so I won't let her do anything Tuesday, so cooking is all my day. I hoover in the week, I buy flowers every week now. Yeah, once a week. Once a week she has flowers from me. And Jamie is a new man after doing Karen's rule. Yeah, I do want to help around the house more, which I, which I do now. So I'm sort of a changed person. Rinse well and steam for seven to eight minutes. Yeah, my cooking's really good. Like before, I never even used to know how to cook egg on toast. But now I can cook a pizza, asparagus, a chicken I can make. Yeah, yeah. I can do anything, I can challenge anything now. It has made me confident. Yeah, very and I'm very positive now. In Devon, there has been a change in the household roles for the orchards. You've asked me your socks. I've not come home and just sort of gone back to how it was before because it's made me realise that, yeah, I can be a mum. My throat's gone. Huh? She's been making me teas. Um, coffee, you know, done all that for me. She cleans up, everything's clean in the house for when I come home, and um, she's totally changed in that way. That's a fireplace, isn't it? Yeah. 
college courses, and after that, I want to get my own business going. And Karen and Jason will soon experience being a traditional family themselves. She's just found out she's four months pregnant. He says he's quite happy to roll with us, that he'll go out and earn the money, and I can stay at home and be a mum, and that is brilliant. I just can't wait. we